Okay, I'm sure some of you open wheel fans were curious to see how the all-star sprint cars would tackle the tiny confines of Clinton County Raceway. If you didn't get to make it to the track to see for yourself, here's your answer. Roll tape. A capacity crowd was on hand to see the all-stars in action. There were fireworks in the sky. Would there be some on the track? The 35 of Justin Henderson was on the pole with Lance DeWeese and the 30C to his outside. At the drop of the green, Henderson shoots to the point with DeWeese in tow. On a lap three restart, DeWeese initially looks low, but as they enter turn one, DeWeese goes high and around Henderson for the lead as they start down the backstretch. Fast qualifier Greg Hodnett started sixth and ran in the fourth position most of the race. Here, two of the all-star regulars do battle. Dale Blaney in the two finished sixth after starting 14th, and 83 Tim Schaefer fell back to eighth after starting fifth. The man on a mission was Tyler Walker in the 17th. After flipping in his heat race, Walker drove from the back row in the B main to finish second and advanced to the final. Walker started the A main in 24th and made his way up to 11th. Nothing changed up front as Lance DeWeese goes on to record the all-star win. Henderson held on to second, followed by Sam Heffertiep, Greg Hodnett, and Mark Smith. I couldn't catch up with Lance after his win, but I did get some of the 270 micro sprint feature. On the second attempt to get their race underway, they are three wide across the line. Sean Stoltz in the 20 looks under the 56 of Mike Kohler for the lead as they enter the first turns. Down the back stretch, they are side by side until Stoltz is able to secure the lead. The race was plagued with some cautions early on. Once things settled down, Mike Rutherford in the 5K began making his way to the front of the field. Ryan Smith in the yellow and purple number two had to qualify through the B main, but in the A main he charged through the field. Eventually Rutherford and Smith would challenge each other for second place, however no one was a match for Sean Stoltz on this night. Sean, congratulations on the win. It didn't take you long to get to the front. You said in your uh, Victory Lane interview that uh, the track was pretty racy for you guys. Yeah, it, yeah, it was uh, real racy. It's uh, always interesting when you're running against uh, you know 410 sprint cars or the you know the big cars. Um, how you never know how the track's going to turn out. So for us, it was a, a last-minute tire change for the feature, and I think uh, I think that really helped us out. We you know car didn't go away at all. Yeah, towards the end of the race, it was good from beginning to end. So it uh, definitely was a really racy track, though, and uh, real fast. That's for sure. And uh, it's been a couple years since you've uh, been racing here. Uh, why haven't you been back? Yeah, we. Uh, it's. I guess it's been at least two years since we've been around here. Um, just kind of taking this past year or so, uh, taking some time off and just kind of racing part time. But. Um, kind of have uh, a 600 we also race so that's kind of keeping us closer to home and uh, instead of traveling as much as we used to do in the past but um, definitely anytime there's a big money show we're, we're there so I was uh, really glad Clinton County put that on to, for, for everybody tonight and definitely to race against the, the four tens as well back to back with that. That, that I think put on a good show yeah it, it was it was a good night overall we were fast from the beginning um, just went back to two years ago um, on our notes, pulled out the notes from two years and kind of tweaked it and we fell right back in. So felt really confident going in. I'm, I'm glad we were able to come out on top. Rutherford held off Smith for second. Chad Thomas and Colby Womb round out the top five. That will do it for this week's Pit Pass. Congratulations to all of the winners and thank you for joining us. Until next time, remember, if you want to contribute to the growth of our sport, Quite simply, support those who support racing. Pit Pass has been brought to you by Jake's Carts. This has been a production of WHVL Sports.